Ivan Bostuchuk, Sila Partner Channel. Today we'll talk how to beat a freestyle wrestler in a Sambo tournament. Let's go. Thank you very much for commenting, asking good questions, tell me your stories, and often ask questions how to beat a freestyle wrestler. It's very hard because freestyle wrestlers are very physical and durable. But there is one but, they don't know how to wrestle with a gi or jacket on. Before I tell you how to win, understand their aces. What do they do nicely? Of course, leg attacks. They know how to shoot from different positions and different distances. And always expect that. Second, they like tight wrestling, body to body. Third, freestyle wrestling, you can win by pinning someone. Just like our hold down, only not as long. It's very hard to put their, them on their back. Fourth, it's hard to take their back because you can score in freestyle wrestling, so they, they will not let you go there. So, we know their major aces. Of course, they strong and durable as well, not everybody. And if you compare with Sambis, Sambis also have durable and strong, it's all relative. So do not generalize, they all strong. And Sambis and Jujitero are weak and so forth. It's all relative. There are strong and weak guys everywhere. So we know their aces and we build our tactics. First, they shoot and expect it during the whole match. In order to negate the freestyle wrestler, from shooting, grab two sleeves, yes, sleeves, not wrists, not higher, by elbow, exactly by sleeves and push them down. Some people know how to do it in Sambo, just straighten your arm and apply body weight. And because of this grip, you'll negate a wrestler completely, he will not shoot. Secondly, they do not know how to operate grips. If you could not catch grips and by sleeves and do other grips, he probably will not do the same. And another thing they don't have is breaking grips. Because all so that's why always impose your grips and do not let him go from far distance. There are three distances medium, close and far. So far distance without the grip. So he stands there and they juke you and change levels, do distracted movements. So your goal is to get the grip. If you do not catch, he can shoot from far and very fast. So look for your grips, load him up, always pull him down and control his arms is the most important thing. You can grab uh, lapel and back, not effective. Arms down, okay? If you lost it and do, did some kind of other grip, arm, back, they will try to hug you, to suplex you. Expect that as well. To stop that, hold the distance. Hold the distance is a must. And from that distance, Uchimata, Padhvat, is a good throw. It's a different topic, how to rock him, how to move him. But if we pull somebody down, he'll try to spring up. If we push him up, he wants to go down. Back, he will go forward and so forth. We all know that those are basics of wrestling. So if we pull somebody down, he would like to come up. And you can throw Padhvat. So when freestyle guys try to go, they often go behind you back. And you can do over the head throw. So two throws I mentioned are good for freestyle guys. Padhvat and over the head throw. If he gets close, Uchimata, if he runs behind, immediately over the head. Super. Thirdly, guys, they wrestle nicely in a partner, meaning it's hard to pin them. So don't even try. Do not waste your energy. Of course, you can try, 
but if you waste a lot of uh, uh, force and strength you still have to wrestle up and it's very hard to rotate him but if most likely he will turn you so don't try to turn him over to pin but but what happens for freestyle guys submissions a little bit harder on the arms because they're strong arm lock there are a lot of nuances if you don't know how to do it most likely it's going to be hard to finish you have to know details you can buy my online course right here but you can do leg locks especially achilles ankle lock so in a partner don't pin leg locks achilles or knee bar here's another link to buy online course fourth how can you overplay outplay working with your legs it's not as developed like trips opposite opposite different so if you have two grips it's good to apply trips but be careful so he doesn't grab your leg so what do i have now a wrestler comes against you you don't know how strong he is how durable he is right away grab two sleeves and pull down in order to understand what he wants to do what he's thinking how strong he is and durable he is right away two grips and then you'll find out what he can do do not let him grab your body keep the distance you can always secure some kind of throw but what or uh uchimata so be alert they always run behind in a partner and i don't even try to stop it's worthless so i get ready my roll on knee bar as he runs behind you can do roll on knee bar be careful stay away from tight wrestling they don't know how to grab with the kurtka they don't know how to hold these grips wrists are not developed for jacket after sambo those guys aching in their shoulders because it's hard to hold the grip and because we do it every time we are better but if we do greco freestyle then we suffer from grips being burned sambo and judo and jiu jitsu is a little bit different gripping so understand that so load him up they do not know how to break grips use that if he tries to do something break his grip and down wait for far shots from far away so be alert and catch your grips so nothing is hard N no good freestyle guy won sambist a good sambist we have an uh, example andrei kashtanov sambist uh, medalist and andrei statnik uh, uh, olympic in freestyle they competed and Kash before Kashtanov, Andrei always won, but with Kashtanov, he leg locked the guy. Imagine you go in freestyle wrestling, even if you're very good, maybe you'll beat somebody not as good. But if you uh, wrestle with a good guy, you in chaos, you don't know the tactics, you know the throws, right? Yes, but you don't know the tactics tactics decide everything so don't be afraid to wrestle from uh, guys from different uh, wrestling styles so do what you know how to do avoid chaos if you do the same move and same grips and if the guy a little stronger you give up everything and like a monkey with a hand grenade so be calm and do what you know how to do do not panic so guys did you like it if you liked it please comment what would you like for me to cover how to wrestle against the jujitero we covered that how to wrestle jujitero for sambo we covered that how to wrestle against freestyle guy we did that and if you freestyle guys want to know how to overplay outplay sambist i'll help you that too Thank you for your attention. See you soon.